let's talk about the surgical anatomy of the pancreas. Pancreas is a mixed gland consisting of the both exocrine and endocrine parts. It is situated in the retroperitoneum and applies the posterior part of the epigastrium and left hypochondrium. The size is about 12 to 50 cm in length, 3 to 4 cm in breadth and thickness is 1.5 to 2 cm and it is approximately 80 gram in weight. It includes of the parts like head, from right to left, it is head, neck, body and tail. Head is the thickest and the broadest part and presents two surfaces anterior and the posterior and four borders upper, lower, right and left and one process known as the oncinear process and neck is the constituent portion of the pancreas which connects head with the body. It has anterior and the posterior surfaces, upper and lower borders. Body is the longest portion of the gland in the extends from the front of the aorta to the front of the kidney and it presents three surfaces anterior and inferior and posterior and three borders which includes superior, anterior and inferior. Tail is the narrow left end of the gland which passes between the layers of the linoregular ligament and reaches the spleen. It is the most lower part of the gland and lies opposite the lower border of the situable vertebra. In the picture, you can see different part of the pancreas, tail, body, neck, head and oncinear process. This is another picture showing the parts of the pancreas. Now, pancreatic ducts. It includes main duct known as duct of the Wilson and accessory duct known as the duct of the Centurini. Main duct opens into the duodenum on the summit of the major duodenum papilla and accessory duct opens into the duodenum on the summit of the minor papilla. Now this is a picture showing the opening of major duodenum papilla in the duodenum. Now blood supply. The main supply is spanning artery which supplies the neck and the body and the tail. Here is supplied by the superior and the inferior pancreatic duodenal arteries branches of the gastroduodenal and superimmensitary cartilage respectively. Venous return is by the small numerous veins into the splenic vein and from the head it is drained by the superior pancreatic duodenal vein into the portal vein and by the inferior pancreatic duodenal vein into the superior mesenteric vein and these veins run parallel to the arteries. This is a picture showing the artery supply of the pancreas. Now, lymphatic drainage. The lymphatics from the pancreas follow the course of the arteries and to the left of the neck, the pancreas drain into the pancreatic splenic nodes accompanying the splenic artery and upper part of the head into the cilia group and from its lower part and oncinear process into the superior mesentery group of the pre aortic lymph nodes. This is a picture showing the lymph node drainage of the pancreas. Now, nerve supply. The innervation of the pancreas is derived from the vagal and splenic nerves, parasympathetic vagal fibers which are capable of the stimulating exocrine secretion reach the gland mainly from the posterior vagal trunk and celiac plexus. Hormonal control is more important than the neural and the sympathetic vagal constrictor impulses are derived from the T6 to T3 segments by splenic nerves and the celiac plexus. Pain fibers accompany the sympathetic supply, hence the pancreatic pain may radiate in the distribution of the T6 to T10 chromatomes. This is a picture showing the nerve supply of the pancreas. Now, structure. Pancreas is a lobulatory gland. It consists of the serous ascending which produces the exocrine secretion and the endocrine isolates of the langerhans. The main duct ramifies into the intralobular and the interlobular ducts, ductils and finally acini. Acini cells are clumped around the central lumen to form an acinus which communicates with the duct system. The isolates of the langerhans are distributed throughout the pancreas and the 75% are B cells which produce insulin, 20% are A cells which produce glucagon and the remainder are the D cells producing somestatin and a small amount of the pancreatic polypeptide cells. Now development of the pancreas. Pancreas develop in the fourth week of the fetal life from the caudal part of the foregut as ventral and dorsal pancreatic boards. The caudal portion of the head and the oncinear process develops from the ventral board while the cranial part of the head and all of the body and tail are derived from the dorsal board. The duct system of the two dog boards and stomos two for the main pancreatic duct or a small part persists at the accessory duct. Now this is a picture showing the development of the pancreas. Now exocrine function. The external secretion of the pancreas consists of the clear alkaline sol uh, solution of 1 to 2 liter per day containing digestive enzymes. Cholecystokinin pancreozymine is released from the duodenal mucosa in response to food which is responsible for enzyme secretion. The hormone secretin is released from the duodenal mucosa in the presence of the acid and evokes a bicarbonate rich fruit. Nicole stimulation increases volume. The enzymes are the protolytic, lipolytic and amylytic. 
lipids and amyloids are stored and excreted in active forms. The proteolytic enzymes are secreted as, uh, as inactive precursors and are activated by the duodenal enzyme enterokinase. Now, endocrine function. The endocrine function is to facilitate storage of the food stored by the releasing insulin. Insulin secretion is stimulated by rising or high serum concentrations of the metabolic substances such as glucose, amino acids, and maybe sulfur fatty acids. The release of the glucagon is stimulated by a low concentration of the blood glucose, amino acids, and catecholamines. It is suppressed by hyperglycemia and insulin. Insulin stimulates anabolic reactions and decreases glycogenolysis, lipolysis, gluconeogenesis, ureogenesis, and ketogenesis. Glucagon stimulates glycogenolysis from the liver and proteolysis and lipolysis in adipo tissue as well as liver. This is a picture showing the exocrine and the endocrine part and function in both. Another topic. 